Hey everybody, in today's video I want to talk a little bit about uh, losing fat and building muscle when you're in a young age and when you're still developing. So a lot of my YouTube subscribers are young dudes and many of them have the typical uh, body type of being skinny fat. And what I mean by skinny fat, in case you don't know what that is, it's when you have an unbalanced ratio of uh, a lot of fat and not a lot of muscle. When you're the skinny fat body type then you're usually somewhere between 14 and 20 percent amount of uh, body fat you are and I can help you out with this topic because when I stop exercising and lose my muscle tissue and start to eat really unhealthy that's how my body usually looks as you can see in this picture over here now since this video is for the most young dudes in my youtube channel and people who are still developing I'm going to warn you that going on a high uh, caloric deficit is really a bad idea if you want to uh, lose fat and build muscle. Depriving your body when you're young and still growing up from uh, the calories it needs uh, can have many side effects and two main problems that can be caused by that is first of all you may stunt your growth if you're not eating enough calories and second of all you can mess your hormone regulation. For example you can cause problems to your thyroid and this will only have as an effect when you get older and stop developing that you will really get easily fat and your body will not function properly. Also I want to say that if you're a lot higher than 20% of body fat it's probably a good idea that you go and see a nutritional specialist because your case is more uh, special and there are a lot of things that you have to take under consideration. So that being said, avoid high caloric deficits and follow the next tips that I'm going to give you if you're young and you want to lose fat and build muscle. The first tip I'm going to offer you is to focus a lot on strength training. Now the benefits of strength training is that they add muscle tissue to your body and because of that you can raise your metabolism a lot more. The second benefit of adding more muscle tissue to your body is that it will help your body um, build a better shape and because the muscles will be growing beneath your fat it will give the illusion that you have lost fat even though you may have the same amount still. So that way you will build an a lot more aesthetic physique and you will avoid problems like uh, belly protruding because usually when you're skinny fat and your belly is protruding a lot it's not only because of the fat but it's also because of the lack of muscle tissue for example in your chest and in your shoulders. If you have a pretty sedentary lifestyle then uh, that's going to add a lot to your problem of losing fat. So if you're sitting all day around and playing video games on your couch I would recommend that you get a lot more active and start adding some movement into your life. You can add for example some cardio training, you can run 2 or 3 times per week, uh, 20 to 40 minutes depending on your level. Uh, you can also add if you want, in, if you're too bored of doing cardio, you can add sprints two times per week or even three times per week. And the other thing you can also do is power walking. Now, power walking, meaning uh, walking uh, in a high tempo, can also help you a lot. Uh, but if you choose to do power walking, then you can add a lot more volume. So, for example, uh, if you're form of movement is power walking then I would recommend that you do at least 50 to 60 minutes power walking two or three times per week. Just put on your mp3 player, uh, put a cool audiobook of, or for example music that you like and go walk uh, preferably in nature if that's an option where you live. Personally I like power walking because it's more ideal uh, in my situation as a form of movement and it helps me a lot clearing my mind and reduce stress levels. Our third and last tip will be nutrition. Uh, make sure that you eat every day two to three portions of vegetables, two to three portions of fruit and a handful or two of nuts. This will help you first of all cover your uh, needs in micronutrients and it will help you reach satiety more faster instead of eating 
the whole day uh, junk food which actually makes you hungrier and hungrier. Now of course you're young and you're going to eat junk food and I would never tell you to eat no junk food at all but leave your junk food meals for the days when you go outside with your friends for example on the weekend and try to eat in your house more healthy stuff. If you follow all the stuff that I've mentioned all now, I see no reason why you would deprive yourself from uh, real food such as rice, potatoes, meats and stuff like that. Whenever you feel hungry and you've covered all your macro micronutrient needs, uh, just go eat as much as you feel that your body needs. So just to summarize everything once again, remember to focus on strength training, remember to stay active, remember to eat healthy, and if you do all the above uh, in an age where your hormones are at their highest peak, there's no need really to restrict yourself from calories and go and do extreme diets. That was all, I hope this video was helpful to all the young dudes out there trying to build a stronger and more aesthetic physique. Uh, if you're looking for a good body weight exercise program, then go ahead and download this book over here. And until next time, stay strong. And that you go and see a nutritional specialist. Specialist.